Hey guys, I'm back again. My name is Shan. Today we'll be uh, talking about Terraform plus Azure Load Balancer. Um, over the last couple of videos, we have seen how to create Azure resource using variable, using a normal Terraform file, and then we have created a lot of storage accounts, a public IP, and a lot of other things in our last video. In this video, we'll be talking a bit about how to create Azure Load Balancer using Terraform. Um, so let's let's get started. Let's try to understand what is uh, uh, what is uh, cloud load balancer, and then probably kick off creating the video, uh, creating the Azure load balancer. So load balancer is as the name suggests. It's it's it balances your load. It is like uh, it is like a, a a stateless resource, which like whenever user hits an IP address or a, or something like www.google.com it has a load balancer because a single server cannot cannot accumulate or cannot uh, handle such traffic so we have a load balancer which balances your load and under this load balancer so let's suppose this is our load balancer and uh, underneath it we have a lot of virtual machines so suppose this there are four virtual machine this has two request on it this is three this is four and this has got one request active request so a new user whenever a new user comes over here and hits www.xyz.com it the request goes to the load balancer and then load balancer understand basis on the internal algorithm which uh, server has got the least request or which server can handle few more uh, traffic and then it it gets the request to that particular node uh, the load balancer has two type of ip address that is internal internal ip address and that's one is public ip address so this internal is only accessed within vpn public ad uh, load balancer can be accessed over internet as well all right so i think that was simple this this is about load balancer let's pull up our visual studio code and uh, try to understand what all resources we are going to create today so we have azure load balancer we have all the variables i'm using the same file which i used in our last uh, tutorial so uh, yeah nothing has changed except a few couple of new resources we have added that's going to be azure uh, lb azure Hi rm hyphen lb this is the api call for our uh, azure load balancer lb is the re reference of this particular uh, load balancer and then we have called resource group azure resource group dot rg um, this is going to be demo one yep and uh, yeah, so we're gonna replace. Uh, forgotten to replace our uh, RG with the. Sorry. Um, so let's first let's just replace all the RG with demo one, and then we'll be good to we'll be take you through all the resources after that. All right, that's pretty much all. So we were talking about the load balancer then we have name and location of the load balancer front end ip configuration that's going to be the name of your front end ip um uh, that's going to be public or internal load balancer which we were talking about a couple of minutes back we're going to use a public load balancer we're using this azure public ip uh, hyphen uh, underscore public underscore ip we've already used this api in our uh, in our uh, uh control in our uh, main file so we've already defined this so that's going to be azure so if we go to our variable section if we just try to search um we'll we'll have a look at the azure public ip as well so we've defined it underneath it then we have backend address pool um, that's going to be we the back in pool um, the number of virtual machines so this is the pool where we're going to fit in our virtual machines azure lb we have defined it already over here dot lb dot uh, id and then we have resource lb nat rule um this defines the back end port front end port um uh, so we're gonna create two uh, nat rule which means that 
uh, we'll be using a variable called count dot index means as soon as uh, we'll define the count over here which means it will run twice so if had it been like we mentioned it over here three it would, it would have run three times so count dot index is the variable which is used to run your uh, run multiple the same uh, same resource which can be created multiple number of times this can be used in our your virtual machine as well count dot index so back in pool gonna be three three eight nine you can if you're gonna use other ports as well just give it a comma and put other ports over here um azure lb rule load balancer rude uh, rule lb we have already defined above um uh, name gonna be lb rule then tcb protocol we're gonna using http that the port is 80 uh, front end um, name and back end pool which we have defined above lb probe uh, which is going to be rm dot uh, rm hyphen lb dot lb dot id name protocol and lot of ports and other things so that's it we ca you can get these granular details from azure um, azure uh, uh, documentation as well uh, this video is more about how to create these resources using terraform rather than deep diving into terraform if you want to have a detailed session on this do let me know i'll, I'll try to create a one more video on load balancer so that's pretty much it let's pull up our uh, terraform directory so it's gonna be devops with sean terraform okay so let's just give it a terraform init and um yep we have got all the uh, files underneath terraform init is basically to uh, make sure uh, if a new changes has been made on any of the files terraform gets and fetches that terraform plan let's try to understand if what all uh, resources we are going to create all right all right so there are six resources to be created um, nothing to change nothing to destroy let's go through the resources which will be creating created now we'll have a allowed balancer we'll have a backend ip address pool nat rule then we have a probe id and yeah that's that's pretty much all let's go ahead and uh we're confident enough to make terraform apply all right there was a typo we'll type it again terraform apply ah bloody hell um terraform apply that's gonna make all the changes and we are going to say yes let's go ahead and make the changes um so it's trying to create uh, all the resources which we have defined let it create we'll be back again once all these has been created oh uh, that was pretty quick mm, so let's let's go ahead and uh, see what all resources has been created um all right guys so uh, so we've got the uh, our load balancer created that was rglb and if we just hit OK over here, it's going to spin up all the resources underneath it. So it's taking a bit of time to load up. However, so guys, we've got backend pool. We had got front end pool. Um, yep, that's the pool we've created. That's the backend pool we've created a couple of minutes back. All right. Um, so we've successfully created all the uh, resources on Azure uh, using Terraform. I hope you like the video. Uh, do share and comment and uh, press the thumbs up button if you like the content. Hope this was informative for you. Um, do let me know your feedback and uh, on the comments. Uh, links and description about previous videos and source code would be shared in the uh, description box. Thank you guys. Uh, 